hello dear students welcome again in this video i am going to discuss questions from chapter number six seven eight in the previous four videos i have discussed first five chapters okay so let us start with the topic before that if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and if you find it useful please like it so let us start with the first question the stock of foreign direct investment is measured as the total amount received over a one year period the total amount received over a five year period the total amount of fdi to date the current market value of fdi in a country so fdi is measured at a point of time the correct answer is the total amount of fdi to date it is accumulated amount at a point of time question number two the globalization and growing income inequality between nations are associated with insufficient levels of free trade the decline in fdi following the 2008 global financial crisis declining levels of educational attainment in developed economies increased international economic exchange and technological change so correct answer of this question is increased international economic exchange and technological change because of this some of the nation are getting getting benefited who are technologically advanced who are having in uh, endowed with more uh, resources they are getting benefited more and it is creating inequality between nations next question the notion that trade between nations can be profitable even if one of the two nations can produce both the commodities more efficiently than the other nation is the gist of absolute cost advantage theory comparative cost advantage theory opportunity cost theory factor endowment theory this uh, principle is related to comparative cost advantage theory given by ricardo ricardo first theory is given by adam smith opportunity cost is given by haberler and factor endowment theory or hexer ohlin theory given by hexer and ohlin though this factor endowment theory first of all you know uh, written by leon tiff next question globalization is beneficial for firms because it protects them against foreign competition it insulates them from the impact of events in other countries it opens up new market opportunities it increases the risk and uncertainty of operating in globalizing world economy correct answer is it opens up new market in fact globalization increases risk and uncertainty it does not insulate uh, from the impact of events and it does not protect against foreign competition it opens up new market opportunities next question globalization can be challenging for business because it can result in more competition it reduces vulnerability to political risk and uncertainty when operating internationally it means that prices can be increased all of the above the correct answer is it can result in more competition globalization can be challenging because it result in more competition next which of the following is not likely to impede or obstruct globalization in an emerging economy like india delays in approval procedures resource limitations in a market poverty and literacy the correct answer is poverty poverty uh, is not likely to impede or obstruct globalization in emerging economy next question privatization can be achieved by leasing franchising contracting all of the above correct answer is all of the above in fact these three are the methods through which privatization privatization sorry can be achieved next disinvestment means selling of a public investment to a dash private enterprises public enterprises capital market departmental enterprises correct answer is private enterprises public investment disinvestment means selling of public investment to private enterprises next question following is 
oblig are the factors of new liberalization policy 1991 abolishing industrial licensing automatic clearance for imported capital goods abolishing all existing registration schemes all of the above correct answer is are all of the above these are the factors of new liberalization policy 1991 cross holding is a method of privatization globalization disinvestment liberalization cross holding is a method of disinvestment in which pub one publicly uh, ho holding public holding company owning the uh, shares of other public holding holding companies next question uh, dash refers to relaxation of government restrictions in areas of social and economic policy privatization globalization disinvestment liberalization correct answer is liberalization refers to relaxation of government restrictions in areas of social and economic policy where is the headquarters of sark kathmandu manila dhaka jakarta the headquarter of sark that is south asian association for regional cooperation is based in kathmandu next question if the balance of payment of a country is adverse then which institution will will help that country world bank world trade organization international monetary fund asian development bank in fact when there is deficit in the balance of payment a country can approach imf imf is the organization providing short term funds for balance of payment deficit or adverse balance of payment next question who issues the special drawing rights sdr among the following world bank world trade organization asian development bank imf international monetary fund is the correct answer imf issues sdrs which of the followings are called britain wood twins imf and international bank for reconstruction and development or ibrd imf and world trade organization ibrd and world trade organization none of the above in fact imf and ibrd or world bank are called as britain wood twins they are established in this britain wood conference in 1945-46 next which of the following statements is not correct both imf and ibrd have headquarters in washington both imf and ibrd are the constituent organization of united nations organization ibrd is also called world bank india's vote share in the imf is 10 percent correct answer is this india's vote share in imf is not 10 percent it is 2.76 percent so above three are correct statements and the last one is incorrect next question which of the following currency is not included in the calculation of the sdr of imf yen yuan rupee pound sterling the correct answer is rupee rupee is not included in the calculation of sdr value yen yuan and pound sterling are included next which of the following institution is not part of the world bank community ibrd wto ida ifc the correct answer is wto ibrd is nothing but world bank ida is international development assistance ifc international finance corporation these two are the uh, allied or sister institution of ibrd or world bank wto is independent world institution looking after trade or facilitation of trade wto next BRICS refer to brazil russia indonesia china and south africa brazil russia india china and south africa brazil russia india china and south korea Br bangladesh russia india china and south africa the correct answer this is the short form of BRICS is short form of brazil russia india china and south africa initially there were four nations that is BRIC, brazil russia india china and later on in 2010 south africa was also added in this uh, group next question balance of payments is an accounting identity which says that which says that capital dash 
from one country must equal capital dash to another country. So depreciation, appreciation, investments and investments, outflow and our inflows, assets and liabilities. The correct answer is outflows and inflows. The balance of payment is an accounting identity which says that capital outflows from one country must equal capital inflows to another country. Next question, the current account deficit merely means that as a country we produce, consume, import, export, export, import, contract and expand. Correct answer is a current account deficit merely means that as a country we import more than we export. So correct answer is the second one. Next foreign investment entails dash change in the capital account of the country making the investment the country who is making investment what change will take place in the capital account of that country a negative change a positive change no change or no change no or no change so the correct answer is a negative change a negative foreign investment entails a negative change in the capital account of country making the investment because uh, capital goes out of the country next where is the headquarter of BRICS Brasilia Shanghai Cape Town New Delhi the correct answer is Shanghai the new development bank or BRICS bank is located at Shanghai and that is the headquarter of BRICS Next, following are the objectives of privatization to depoliticalize, depoliticalize economic decision to reduce public outlays, taxes and borrowing to improve the economic performance of assets to promote, to promote equity. All of the above. The correct answer is to uh, all of the above. These four are all four are the objectives of privatization. Next question following are the forms of foreign capital, direct foreign investment, foreign collaboration, intergovernment loans, loans from international institutions and external commercial borrowing, ECB, all of the above. Correct answer is all of the above. These all five are the forms of foreign capital, public foreign investment may take the forms as bilateral loans, bilateral soft loans, multilateral loans, intergovernmental loans, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Public foreign investment may take the form of bilateral loan, soft loans, multilateral loans as well as intergovernmental loans. Next following is oblique are the components of balance of payment, current account, capital account, monetary movements, oblique uh, within bracket official reserve account, all of the above. Correct answer is all of the above. All these three are components of balance of payment payment current account includes all visible and invisible uh, trades capital account includes all foreign direct investment and banking flows capital flows whereas monetary movements includes SDRs gold and foreign exchange reserves next corrective measures for disequilibrium in the BOP balance of payment is oblique R, automatic measures, deliberate measures, monetary measures, all of the above. When there is disequilibrium in the balance of payment, all of the above measures, corrective measures can be taken to solve the disequilibrium in the balance of payment. Under exim policy, export and import policy, what is EPCG scheme? Export promotion credit goods, export promotion capital goods, export promotion capital guarantee, none of the above. Correct answer is under exim policy, EPCG scheme is nothing but export promotion capital goods scheme. Next, which among the following is the best definition of rupee convertibility? Ability to convert rupee into gold and vice versa. Ability of the market forces to convert the value of rupee. Permission of the conversion of rupee to other currencies and vice versa. None of the above. Convertibility, rupee convertibility or simply convertibility means permission of the conversion of rupee to other currencies and vice versa. Next. 
capital account convertibility of the Indian rupee implies. It means what? That the Indian rupee can be exchanged by authorized dealers for travel that the Indian rupee can be exchanged for any major currency for the purpose of trade in goods and services, that the Indian rupee can be exchanged for any major currency for the purpose of trading in financial assets, none of the above. Correct answer is this. Capital account includes all the financial assets transactions. So this uh, current account, capital account convertibility convertibility means this whereas first two is related to current account convertibility next which of the following is not a benefit of convertibility of rupee not the benefit of convertibility of rupee first one it will attract more foreign capital inflow in india convertibility of the rupee will stabilize its exchange value against major currencies of the world it will help promote exports it will discourage import imports to India. Correct answer is it will discourage imports to India. This is not the benefit uh, of convertibility of rupee. All these are benefits. First three are the benefits of convertibility of rupee and this is, this is not the benefit. Next, the Indian rupee is fully convertible in respect of current account transaction, in respect of capital account transaction, in respect of transaction of gold none of the above it is fully convertible in respect of current account transactions so thank you so much all the best students for the upcoming examination stay connected the world is a village anytime anywhere anyone can make a positive difference in our life so subscribe and press the bell icon for useful videos on personal finance career guidance and most importantly jo jobs in future thanks thanks for watching